Hi, boys and girls. Today we are going to talk about ways to make six. So if you look up on my screen, I have one, two, three, four, five, six cubes. So they're all attached together and this would show that six cubes plus zero more cubes gives us an answer of six total cubes. Now, if I were to remove one of my cubes from this, then I could see that now I have one, two, three, four, five cubes plus one additional cube still gives me a total if I put it together, of six. Let's continue in this pattern. This time I'm going to break off two of the cubes. My number sentence is going to change. Now I have one, two, three, four cubes plus one, two cubes. If I put them together, I still have a sum or a total of six cubes. Let's continue in this pattern. This time I'm going to break off three of the cubes. When I do that, I have one, two, three cubes plus one, two, three more cubes gives us a total, again, six cubes. Look at all these different ways of making the number six. Can we go on? Are there more? We've broken off one, two, three. Now we're going to break off four pieces. So we're going to remove one, two, three, four of the pieces. And now we have two plus one, two, three, four still gives us, if we put them together, a total of six. Let's keep going. This time, we can break off five cubes. One, two, three, four, five. And our new number sentence is one cube plus one, two, three, four, five cubes gives us a total of six cubes. Now, one thing we have to remember is we can always turn these facts around. Turnaround facts are extremely important in helping us to understand different ways of making the story of six also. So if we look here and we want to look at some of our turnaround facts, we can see if six plus zero is six, we can turn that around and say zero plus six is also six. Same thing, five plus one is six, so one plus five is also six. Uh, turnaround facts, I like to call them flip-flops. We like to flip-flop these numbers. So four plus two equals six, but we could flip these around and two plus four would equal six. The turnaround fact for three plus three. Oh my goodness, what do we notice? If we turn around three plus three, we are still going to have a number sentence that looks the same. We know that three plus three is one of our doubles facts. We have two of the same add-ins. Down here, Two plus four equals six. Turn that around. Four plus two equals six. And finally at the bottom, one plus five equals six. So five plus one equals six as well. Look at all of these different ways. You can see we have some matches on these pages. For example, we have five plus one here and one plus five down here. We have four plus two here, and we have the turnaround fact right here. So as you can see, the story of six 
gives us lots of different ways of making that number. Now we're going to take a look at ways to make seven. So if we start and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red counters, we can make our first number sentence. Seven plus zero, seven counters plus zero more counters gives us a total of seven. Now we know that we have turnaround facts. So we can take a look at this number sentence and let's turn it around and flip flop these numbers. That gives us zero plus seven equals seven. So we have our turnaround fact. If we were to take away one red and replace it with a yellow, we would have a new number sentence. In this number sentence, we now have one, two, three, four, five, six red plus one yellow gives us a total, again, still a sum of seven. Six plus one is seven. Let's do our turnaround fact, and that also tells us that one plus six also is seven. If we continue on our story and replacing counters, we'll replace one more and look at our new number sentence of the number of red plus the number of yellow. This time we have one, two, three, four, five red plus one, two, yellow is a sum of seven. If we look and we turn this fact around, we can say that two yellow plus one, two, three, four, five red still gives us another way to make seven. There are so many ways. All right, continuing. We're gonna take another red away, replace it with a yellow, and look at our new number sentence for red plus yellow. This time we have one, two, three, four red plus one, two, three yellow is another way to make seven. Turn this around, turn around fact, and we get one, two, three plus four equals seven. So by turning that fact around, we have yet another way of making seven. There are so many different ways. If we were to replace one more red with a yellow, we now have three red plus four yellow equals seven. And notice that was the last turnaround fact that we did, that three plus four equals seven. If we replace another one with a yellow, we now have two plus five. Again, that was another one of our turnaround facts. Replace the last, uh, the next one. And we have one plus six matches that, that turnaround fact. And then finally, if we replace this one last red with a yellow, we now have the last turnaround fact, zero red plus seven yellow equals seven. So thank you today for joining me for the story of seven.